What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you my first impressions of Call of Cthulhu. So for the regular viewers of my channel, I am playing this game in between Shadowrun Dragonfall and Shadowrun Hong Kong, which I am currently in the middle of reviewing. I've finished Dragonfall, I've just got to do the review and everything for it. And then for my newcomers, what I like to do is review games in general but I tend to focus on larger RPGs, especially CRPGs, and every once in a while I just need a palate cleanser which leads me to these more narrative-driven games like Call of Cthulhu. Combine that with the fact that I'm a big fan of things like the occult and the Cthulhu mythos in general, and here we are. I just needed a little bit of a break from CRPGs as I have reviewed three of them back to back to back and decided to cleanse my palate, so to speak, before jumping into Shadowrun Hong Kong. So I knew a little bit about this game going into it, that it was centered around Cthulhu, of course, as that's right in the name. And that brings with it a lot of inference, for instance, things based around your sanity, unknowable cosmic horrors, that type of stuff, a certain occult vibe to everything. So that's kind of what I expected going into this, and my first impressions seem to be largely on par with that. You are, of course, investigating the town of Darkwater after taking up a case as a private investigator to find Sarah Hawkins or figure out the mystery behind her supposed death. And so far, the first impression gives me a very Shadow Over Innsmouth vibe. That is to say, a small coastal town, there's clearly something going on in the background, and they really nailed the atmosphere of this game. Everything about this game is just like super creepy. From the people you're talking to being like haggard fishermen or just kind of ne'er-do-well types. And definitely gives you that vibe like something is off because nobody really wants to talk to you that much. And then of course there's all the shady stuff like... Sarah's paintings being very uh, Cthulhu-esque and just generally very creepy. So they really nailed the atmosphere. Now, on a mechanical level, the game plays a lot, from what I've noticed, like a puzzle in some ways, in that they're like, hey, here's this puzzle, be it a situation you need to resolve or whatever, and then it gives you a bunch of varieties of ways to solve that puzzle via the skills that it gives you. Things like your just straight-up strength, your medicine knowledge, or your occultism, your ability to find things that are hidden, just your investigative chops, so to speak. And all of those will culminate in ways to solve a problem, and then solving that problem continues the story. That seems to be functionally how a lot of the game plays, which I am enjoying quite a bit. Most things seem to have several ways to be approached, which I always appreciate, even though the narrative itself seems largely the same. Now, it is my understanding there are several endings, and your choices throughout the game will kind of inform some of those endings and what you can possibly do. So I will be looking forward to seeing how those things play out. But overall, my first impressions... This game is super creepy, I love the atmosphere, and I'm looking forward to seeing just how crazy, occult, and Cthulhu-esque this game actually turns out to be. So without rambling on too long and saving some material for the actual review, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. My Dragonfall review will likely be out Thursday or Friday, with this following probably shortly after, as it's my understanding this isn't a very long game. But may you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.